here's what I'm thinking how the weather is going to be for the Northeast this spring and summer. I think March is going to get very, very hot in the Northeast. We might have record temperatures towards the middle of end of March. I expect temperatures getting to the upper 70s, low 80s, even mid 80s in some isolated cases, especially in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. I think that'll be followed by some severe weather towards the end of March, beginning of April, followed by a very big cooling trend. After that cooling occurs, and as we move into the middle of April, um, temperatures will begin to moderate back to just around average to above average. And there will be a lot of rain and thunderstorms. Going into May, there might be some severe weather in the northeast, talking about mostly hail, damaging winds, nothing tornadic. And temperatures will remain at or above normal. Going into June, temperatures will stay around average. Rainfall, however, will be way above normal. I mean, I'm talking about flooding rains all across the Northeast. That's going to begin in June and last all the way through August and September. Then the, uh, the fall will be well below normal temperatures, well below normal, and will be very wet. And that will transition into a very cold and snowy summer, a winter. The summer is going to be around average to above to about below average temperatures. I don't expect much in the way of tornadoes in the Northeast, but we could get an outbreak like we got on June 1st in Massachusetts. But I don't expect much in terms of hurricanes either, except we might get one or two that roam up the coast, like Irene and, and uh, Earl the other year. But overall... I expect a pretty crazy summer in terms of weather, temperature swings, but not talking about tornadoes or anything like that. But I expect the, the winter of 2012-2013 to be one of the worst winters in terms of heavy snowfall that we've seen in the last 10 to 20 years. We might see gales and blizzards as early as October. Earlier this year, even before that October snowstorm began, I thought something weird was going to happen in terms of like cold weather and snow in October. I was right. Some places in Western Mass got two feet of snow. The reason I thought this would happen is because of low solar activity and because of the cooling down of the North Atlantic Current. It is cooling down and there is some indication that solar activity, with the exception of the solar flare we have, might be winding down. It might be heading into a reversal phase, so this means that we could get another mini global cooling event that could last another few years. Just recently, Europe had one of its coldest winters on record. It's been the coldest since the Little Ice Age. The, the canals in Venice froze solid. S um, parts of uh, England are getting record snowfall. There's record snowfall in Japan as well. And Arctic sea ice has actually gone above normal in some places, above the mean, just uh, near Greenland and in Alaska. So I think that means some of the ice will stick around longer and means we will get a cooler summer with more severe weather across the Midwest and the Mid-Atlantic. Well, this is Arthur Agdeev.